All right, welcome back to Ice Hold Design. I think this is safe, and it's black magic that's the only one that messes up when I do the accent. So anyway, let's start off with number 19 with, of course, we care about your feedback. Why do you ask? Developer email, no reply at Microsoft.com. <laughs> that's pretty great, actually. We're required to list an email here, so we'll just put one in that actually just funnels into a trash bin. Yeah, it's it's cool. We really do not want to hear anything that you have to say about it. We'll evaluate the product ourselves. Thank you. A lot of people use it, so I mean, we're okay. We're good. Muffin appears to have lots of blueberries, but inside it has zero. Oh man, how do you even do that? Because wouldn't you want to just easily mix the blueberries into the batter before you pour it into the thing? That just seems difficult to execute that way. Because that it would mean, I guess you would have to just sprinkle the blueberries on top after you poured the batter. I don't bake things. So maybe I've got this process wrong. But muffins, right? You make the batter or the dough or whatever it's called. You pour it into the muffin tin. And then when you bake it, it fluffs up over the top. But you would want the blueberries to be in there and it would be easier if you just mixed it into the batter. Instead of like, I don't know, sprinkling. I guess though, if you sprinkle them on top, then you don't have to use quite as many, but it just seems more impractical that way. You could save having to individually sprinkle it and instead just put it into the, I don't know. This is questionable methodology in my book, but maybe I've got the whole baking process wrong. Wouldn't surprise me because, well, as you all know, I'm a professional baker who uses my kitchen on a very regular basis. Nintendo can go fork themselves. Wow, very strong language here. Um, I would say, I'm, hey, hey Nintendo, just, you know, well, just in case there's ever a brand, but Nintendo doesn't do brand deals and they claim people's YouTube videos, so, um, you, whatever. Moving Bowser Fight. This course has been deleted because it did not gain sufficient popularity within a set period. It, it's like YouTube. Except that if your video does not gain enough watch time within the first week of its existence, your video is deleted. Google's like, we're, we're running out of storage space here on the back end, so we gotta figure something out in order to make it so that we have more storage. You don't get to 100,000 watch minutes in your first week, you off. You, you're gone. No more YouTube video for you. Whew, dude, that'd be, that'd be real rough. Waiting room at a pediatric clinic has toys secured behind plexiglass for display only. No actual toys for the kids to play with. It's it's aesthetically pleasing. This way the children can't mess up the organization of the toys and stick them in their mouth. Why would you ever want to have your child playing with the toys at a children's doctor's office? All right, they're doing you a favor. This is not, this is not a whole design. This is saving your child from getting an infectious disease from some other 20 kids who took that and shoved it in their mouth and bit it and spit all over it and got their flu sickness all over it. Do you really want that? Do you want your child to be exposed to that? You're a perfectly healthy child who's just going in for a routine checkup. You're gonna check the pee, make sure everything is good. Maybe get a blood test that's hopefully not terribly invasive. Maybe just the finger prick. Because, ugh, getting blood drawn. Ugh, hoo, hoo. But anyway, you're going, you're, nothing's wrong with your kid. You want them exposed to 50 other children's germs? It's bad enough to have to sit in that waiting room anyway. Jeez, you, you're crazy. This is so much better. This is so, lock them in the glass container forever. Everyone should do this. My trust speaker has a fake speaker on top. I feel like we actually, I don't know if it was on this subreddit or another, but in the last month, we had someone with this exact same situation. I guess it gives the speaker a bit more of a professional look if you look like you've got a tweeter up on the top. And so I'm pretty sure that mine are real, as I mentioned there. But there are a lot of screws preventing me from getting into it. And maybe it's just so I'll never find out. Nah, the, I, the amount that I paid for my studio monitors, for the sake of music production, I should say, I they better be real. But they do a good job. So, yeah, it's, it's fine either way. Trust in us, and we'll never deceive you. Trust speakers, but but I I don't want to be tracked. Settings. I consent to Voodoo's use of my data. I don't want. Oh, I don't. But I don't want. I don't want that at all. Just so you know, 
We yada yada yada. If you ever change your mind, you can't change your mind because it auto makes the thing just recheck anyway. I can't tell if it's automatically setting it back to the on position or if it just doesn't let you close the window if you turn it off. So you're kind of stuck either way. That minuscule up to. Can you finish it in 90 seconds? Take the Whopper Challenge. Win up to RS 25,000. I don't know what RS is that ru rubles? I don't know what currency that is and I do not know how much that is. If that was $25,000, I'd be super down with it. But if it's like $10, then that's, I don't know, is it worth it? That's actually, it's mostly, it's a significant amount of protein. Actually, it's pretty much mostly protein if you remove the cheese from there. So get rid of the cheese. Here goes Jordan talking about those calories again, you betcha. You know, okay, so if you remove the cheese, a burger like this, this is pretty thin, it's probably in the, 350 to 400 calorie range. So each of those patties is probably another 100 calories. So that's like 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100. Maybe a little bit more. Let's say it's like 1,300. And then if you add the cheese and you're probably looking at like 1,700, 1,800. It's not that bad though. It's not that bad. Could I finish that in 90 seconds? I don't know. Could I finish it? Yes. The time is the issue. I feel like I missed my calling as like a long distance competitive eater. You know, it's not about the time, it's about can you finish it? And I feel like I would do a pretty good job at finishing things. I'm just not good at shoving it down my mouth in a very, very quick fashion. Like I've never been good at chugging things either. And I also have a really small bladder, so I just have to pee all the time. So I wouldn't be good at drinking, but eating I can do. I swear I just wanted to see the image. Mobile internet, 2018, what I wanted just see the image. What I got, we value your privacy. Well, that's, it's actually required that they do that because of the whole well, GDPR, what have you. So that's, it makes sense there. They have to, they, they will get like fined tremendously if they don't do that whole disclaimer thing. So I get that. The, the autoplay video does make me want to die. And Google has been much, much better with Chrome lately at blocking those things. So that's pretty nice. Um, but then you're forgetting the part where you also get several pop-up ads and occasionally the thing where when you click on a news article, you start reading it and then you, you like five seconds later, it blocks you and it's like, you've reached your maximum number of articles that you're able to read this month. And I'm like, but what's the point of the website then? If I can't go down and read this, I get it. I get it. You guys got to make money, but I feel like there's better way without just completely blocking? I don't know. I don't know, man. Repurposing the home button into a different link. 99% of the year goes to home page. Oh, today goes to, well, I don't know. The click box is you, so you're talking about when YouTube does some kind of like uh, uh, special events and usually they'll have a little icon right next to it, someone dancing, or it'll be like some kind of flag or something like that to celebrate a particular event going on. When you click on that, it'll take you to a video or a channel that has some special promotional thing for that day. It usually doesn't happen where it's still the same logo. I've never actually seen it happen where it's the same logo and they just randomly send you somewhere else. It's actually never happened. I think there is a little bit of a, a thing where it's YouTube is an easy target on this subreddit. So it's very easy to just, you know, we can just stretch things a little bit. I'm gonna defend YouTube on this one and say that generally there is, there's something to indicate a special event is taking place. I installed this app yesterday. Hey, you know, at least you got 69 new opportunities there for coupons and saving money. Because when I get a chance to save money, I prefer for it to come in clusters of 69. That's just, that's how you know you're going to be saving the most money. Think if you followed all those, you'd probably only have to spend a few thousand dollars and you'd save at least $69 off of what would have been a several thousand and $69 purchase. The state of this sub, meta, any pop-up. 
Is this a asshole design? I'm going to post it here. There, I mean, there are a lot of pop up ads that they get posted here, but in in their defense, usually the ones that make it to the top rated ones of the month are at least quality of certain amount. A bit more of a lighthearted one with a not safe for work tag. Um, this is in the woman's restroom at the Purple Cow Restaurant in Freeport, Texas. If you lift the little white door, a loud buzzer goes off throughout the entire restaurant, forcing you to do the walk of <laughs> Shane out of the restroom. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Oh, man, it would be so awkward to actually be. Can you imagine if it was in the men's bathroom and it was over the chest area? No one would be able to eat there because it, <laughs> it would just be nonstop noises. It would never end. There would be great safety in numbers, whereas it's probably a little bit less frequent when it comes to this one because you know let's be honest i don't think that uh just in general across the entire spectrum of every human just i think that boobs are a little bit generally nicer to look at and so it's probably less frequent here it's enough at least so that i guess they haven't had to disable it Oh, I feel badly for for the pe like you. Oh God, you just see like a really old lady walk out of the bathroom after. <laughs> oh, or or oh God, no. Now I'm thinking. Oh God, what if it's a really young kid? Oh no, that's bad. Actually, that probably shouldn't be there anymore. Now I just, I was I was envisioning a world where everyone is of my age or older. Now I'm having second thoughts because that's just that's gonna be weird if there's like a kid that walks out right after nah never mind save negative fourteen dollars and fifty one cents was thirty dollars now forty four fifty great deals here save negative money i'm pretty sure that that's not how you phrase it instead it's just called pay more the state of this sub once again is this going to be meta against the meta Ice hole design. The slight, the slightest flaw or failure in any product, intentional or not. I think, fortunately, be, this might be if you're browsing it on a daily basis. Some of the stuff that you see. Fortunately, I think by our sorting methods of top of the month, we get the more quality products. This ad in an emergency room near me is way farther than the second option. In a panic, you might hit directions for option A and end up spending oh an extra 15 minutes on the road. That's probably not good. Oh God, it's actually. Ooh, probably hard to monitor every possible search input that someone could give on Google. But yeah, when it comes to anything that could be medical emergency related, it seems like you would want to avoid having ads display there. I think this is just, yeah, I don't think this is purposefully done in an effort to harm people who are actually in need of urgent medical care. I would hope that if you search for like nearest hospital or something like that, it doesn't then display an ad for a hospital that's further away. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say that this is its not done on purpose to hurt people. It's just poorly thought out or this edge case has not been properly thought out. Top of the month is this gas station hides the fact that you can inflate your car's tires practically free behind two separate payment options. Quarters only $1. Uh, California law requires a station to provide free. I was about to say. At least in California, you have to uh, be able to get free air for your tire. You have to, even though they disable the pump machine, if you go into the gas station and ask them to turn on the air, they have to do it for you. But they always try to, a lot of places try to do the, the charge thing on there. They'll have like a dollar insert quarters only. And it's like, you can't, ugh. And I'm glad this is actually in California as well. I don't know about other states, but yeah, you have to be able to get it for free and I've been duped by that myself. I have put in quarters before, before I knew that it was actually required for them to be able to turn on the air for you for free. And then just hide the sign. And I've even asked someone to turn on the air for me before and they've like hesitated for a second, like really asking me to do this. I'm like, it is the law. 
How are you gonna do that to me? How are you gonna judge me for asking you to turn on the air when I have low pressure in a tire and it's the law that you provide me with the service? I don't get it. I even bought your gas. I love that this is the top post of the month because it's something I have experienced personally. It's great. That's it for the last month of Ace Hole Design. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like it. If you like, check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch up on uh, other videos, subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to get some super sweet hummingbirds are the sharks of the sky merch that includes hats and shirts and, and hoodies and just all the things, represent.com slash Captain Sparkles. Link in the description. I'll see you next time.